Hello! Today, I'm here to talk to you about some ways that you can protect your PowerPoint presentation. This is great for when you've created a presentation that you want to either share locally or even publicly on the web to help prevent people from altering your work. The first step in protecting a presentation is definitely the mark as final command. This essentially locks the presentation in place, saying that others can read and view it all they want, but not make alterations to the presentation. To make a presentation final, you need to click on the File button and then choose Info. Under the Protect Presentation options, you'll see the ability to mark as final, which will put your presentation into this mode. If you're wondering whether a presentation is in the marked as final mode or not, you have to look at the top of the window, just under the ribbon where you'll see this label if the presentation has been marked as final. This is ultimately just a flag though. As you can see, it's quite easy to turn off this mode if you just want to make edits to the presentation. So now, let's go back to the Protect Presentation menu items and see some other ways that you can further protect a PowerPoint presentation. Right here, you'll see that you can encrypt the file with a password. This is a great idea if you're making a presentation for internal viewing only, as you can use the password to ensure that only people with the password can view the PowerPoint file. So I'm going to set the password and then skip forward and try to open the file again. As you can see, it requires that I enter our new password before I can open it up. You can also get a digital signature for your document, which is a security feature that Microsoft recommends in a number of places throughout its Office suite. Choose this option, and if you don't already have a digital signature set up, Microsoft will send you to some links where you can follow the prompts to obtain one from one of their partners. Now, depending on what version of Office access you have, you may see some additional options here, notably the ability to restrict access, which is missing from my interface here. If you do have that option, you can use it to fine-tune the permissions of people that you may have shared the presentation with. But as I mentioned, this will only be available to people with certain subscription levels. Hopefully you found these tips helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day!